Legend of Total War here with part 51 of my Stainless Steel 6.4 Let's Play campaign as the Quaresmian Empire. On the last episode, I reconquered Iconium back off the Byzantines in a pretty good attempt of a battle, I think. I uh, took about 9 or 10% casualties, which I think is acceptable uh, amounts of loss. Okay, merged everyone. Casualties seem fine. Oh, that's about 10 cavalry. That's great. Can that be right? How many are in the uh, Gulam? Oh, they've actually lost 20. Those ones? That doesn't matter. Now, can't build anything at Iconium. Can't even change the tax rate, but I sacked it, so the public order shouldn't be a problem. Master Thieves Guild. Great. Oh, fuck off. Whatever. Okay, so I'm going to keep these guys moving and send some garrison units from here and I'm going to try and take Esparta back. I think I had Esparta at some point, which is now a fortress. Don't even need a garrison there, apparently. Uh, just send a handful of shit who gives a crap. Can't build anything there. Alright, you guys can keep them keep the attack going. We want to smash these fucking assholes. How strong are the Byzantines? I don't I don't think they're that tough. Let's see. So diplomacy wise, they're at war. They've got a lot of enemies. Uh, okay. And militarily, they're a lot weaker than me. But that being said, they're a bit stronger than what they started off as. But that would be the same for everyone except for probably the Mongols, who start off with a ridiculously large army. Okay, where's my guy over here? Where'd he go? There he is. That's it, we're sending you this way now. Oh, I should have built a watchtower there. Doesn't matter. Send him here. And train a ship. So the army that's here is very infantry focused, there's only one lot of cavalry, but that should be okay. Because there's a city up here that I'd like to go and smash that probably belongs to the... actually, definitely belongs to the Mongols. Once again, they've abandoned the fort that they took, and I just go and retake it. Can't seem to get that back. However, because there's an agent there, it's not going to uh, to die. It's not going to disappear, right? Yeah. So I will risk sending this guy around the back here to try and recapture it. It could actually be a bad idea if it lures this guy over here. Then he'll see Mashhad as the next place logically to attack. I th I'm assuming. Just keep on building. I'm getting a phone call, I'll be right back. Okay. And we're back. Let's see. Back to boring shit constructing crap. Hopefully it won't take too long. Uh, probably, probably shouldn't be building the first thing that's on the list all the time. Not that any of this stuff is really that important. Because most of these recruitment centers here, except for that one maybe, it wouldn't wouldn't be able to get anything out of it. You'd have to have either the faction leader or the faction heir sitting inside the city for like 10 turns to get any elite troops. It's not worth it. They're better off fighting with shit troops on the on the front line, not waiting fucking 100 turns for an, a professional army. Oh, that's right, just took that. Oh, fucking, always pressing WASD. Alright, uh, what else are we doing? Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Everything seems under control. I'm certainly making a shit ton of cash. So let's move on to the next turn. Fuck, that's what I was hoping wouldn't happen.
no point retreating. Oh, pay the ransom. If they're just going to stand there, though, then that's okay with me. Looking forward to taking these motherfuckers down. I'm sure at some point they're going to get a shitload of reinforcements as well. Or maybe that's the end of it. And they've had to recruit now. But up north is shit land, so they wouldn't have much money. I don't understand why these fuckers would declare war just so they could blockade my port. I mean, if you're going to declare war, fucking go for a region. Mason's Guild, fuck that. Captain up here. No real point, I suppose, in going after this guy if I can't take the city straight away. Let's move over here. Let's see what's there. Plenty of movement. So let's have a quick look around. He can't see very far. I might have actually been able to hit that and come around here and attack them. Oh, well, it's too late now. I wouldn't have enough movement. There's only three units inside this. Should be piss easy to go and take down. And if I'm lucky, some stupid fucking melee-based army will attack me and draw them out. Good, lower the tax rate, and get to building shit. Fuck, that increases my income by a lot. That's what I want to see. Keep that navy growing. Alright, these guys over here. Bring them along. We're almost there. Can we raise another ship from here? Should be able to. No. Alright, we'll do so here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, shit. I reckon he's hiding out this way. So, right, just send this motherfucker over here. Take the fort back. And over here, probably going to want more troops. Although I don't think there's much I'm going to be able to do to defend it against those Mongols. I mean, this is really not much. This is garbage. The Saracen militia, they're okay, but up against Mongols, especially experienced Mongols, it's not going to work too well. But oh well, we'll give it a shot. Don't just fucking have a defeatist attitude and give up when there's at least a chance of doing some damage to them. Okay, back to buildings. Of course, I'm making a shit ton of cash, which is always good. Getting as high grade buildings, I suppose. Uh, Jerusalem, got a decent population there. I uh, can't ever grow any larger than a huge city. 
but still more population means higher income. More trade demand and exports and all that kind of shit. It all helps. Yeah, go with that. Keep recruiting another army from here. You never know when I might need it. Too bad I can't get heaps of heavy infantry, uh, heavy cavalry, I mean. Those would be bloody great. Can't fucking get them. Okay, let's move on to the next turn. Cesario is never going to turn into a citadel. You need, like, a fucking level 10 chivalry general to sit there for, like, a hundred years in order to turn it into a citadel. So the Cumans finally wake up after what? Ten turns of idleness? That's ten years in the same spot, stuck between two forts. Oh, okay. I thought they might have been attacking Gorgon, but then they didn't. Which is fine with me. What do they want, a ceasefire? Yeah, fuck off. As if. Go suck a dick. Go eat a syphilitic dick. Someone just took one up the ass. New, no, wait. Oh, fuck. What was that? Oh, shit. Didn't get to read that. New era begins. Oh, well. I suppose it's not that important. Alright. How many territories do I have? 47. That's pretty good. That's a, almost a quarter of the total territories in the game. Almost a quarter. Right, we'll take that down this turn. Infidels to kill, Sultan. Okay. Right, here's what we'll do. You stand there. And this army will come to you. Wait, what mercenaries are available out here? Okay, this is where we can get some cavalry. I mean, I can afford these Eldari. Are you rich? You better be fucking rich. 4,400. Could be better. Gotta have some cav. You can't just go into this kind of territory without it. Even though these guys are hugely expensive. Okay. After that, archers. So, we've got no shortage of that. Take them all. This place doesn't fucking need them. Then, take the javelin men. Actually, leave those javelin men. And then take these fuckwits. That's not a full stack. Take them. Gotta be careful though, that's probably going to be extremely expensive on his milit- Oh, it's not that much. Mercenaries. Uh. Shit, need to watch out for his personal wealth. Next turn you get on the ship, head up here to fucking smash whatever's there. Hopefully... There's at least a de not a huge force, but a decent force there, so that we can start whittling down the, the Mongol power base. Now then, let's take this fortress of the Byzantines. What do they have? Latin con? No, Latinicon. And Skatar... Uh, uh Swordsmen and uh, spearmen. Whatever, it shouldn't be a problem. Let's go f kill these fuckheads. Mm, 
good. Nice quick loads of time. Really need a solid state drive. Yeah, maybe once my channel gets a bit bigger, I'll get one. It'll certainly help me pump out videos a bit faster. Maybe I can afford to actually make higher quality videos, as in higher resolution. Anyway, it's time to concentrate on this. Uh, get you to batter down the gate. Alright, we'll see how this goes. And the cavalry is standing over there. So how are we going to do this? By taking as minimal casualties as possible so we can keep our, keep the march going. But at the same time, I don't want to take too long. What I can do send these Turkish archers around the other side. S then send these guys around this side. Keep them here to make them think of might attack. Also, there's nothing wrong with putting the general, the faction leader, at risk. Plenty backup generals or family members, so if he dies, it doesn't really matter that much. Alright, get up on those ladders. I'll get the ladders up on the walls, whatever. Our ladders have reached the walls. Brave lions strike these curs who hide behind them. And they're still doing nothing. So who should we go and shoot down? I have an idea. You come round this way. I can open the gates for you. I think we'll shoot down these lat Latinicon. This fortress is still of Islamic build, so they didn't build this, I must have. I can tell by the silly music in the background. Call to prayer or whatever the fuck it is. Okay, shoot them. They're just sitting there like a little bitch. Well that sums up the Byzantines in a nutshell. Sat there like a little bitch. Something's come over here. What is it? S swordsman. Okay, get inside. Okay, finish them off. I can't believe they're just sitting there like a bitch. No, no, no. Don't worry about that. Shoot. Uh, the fuck are we going to shoot them? Oh, you got him. The enemy's general lies dead. Now his men can sense their doom upon them. Okay, we've blocked off the entrance to this fort area here. Okay, you climb up on this wall. With the general down, let's try and find a way to shoot these fuckheads. I'd come off, off no, I'd come off the wall. Is this a swordsman? Good. The general should be able to take them down. I can see what they're doing, and I'm gonna have none of that shit. Come on, hurry up. Use 
last of your ammunition on their back. Fuck no, take them down. Big ass charge. Don't know if that exactly worked. How many did you kill? You get a few kills. I lost one or two. Probably better off taking out these swordsmen. Although they're sturdy. Fuck. Stupid. Those are good qualities, uh, spearmen. Just don't worry about it. These are good quality swordsmen, but they're not going to do too well against cavalry. Considering how many they just lost. Half the fucking battalion. Victory is well within our grasp. Pull them back, get ready to charge again, because that's what it does all the damage. Oh, they're coming back out. Let's push forward and slaughter them. Fucking dicks. Stupid. Fucking spearmen. You come over here. No, don't let them get back inside. Fuck. Get inside. Ah, oh, dicks. Piece of shit. No, don't let them. Oh, hang on. They might have just let me inside. No, 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 no. They've got boiling oil there now. Fuck it. You get over here, open the gates. Well, that didn't fucking work now, did it? What are you doing? Get over here. You come inside. Same with you two. Have let them get back inside there. Hang on, I have an idea. Come up here, and you should be able to shoot over this and actually get some of them. Oh, wait, I'm getting shot as well. Fuck that. That was a mistake. I killed one of them and lost maybe ten of mine. Maybe even more. Alright, you, what are we up against here? This is swordsman. Alright, you light swordsman. Light infantry. Get up on the walls and just go kill them. Shouldn't be too hard for you. Uh, except for those Kata... Uh, oh, I can't even pronounce them. Those Kotatoi. Send in reinforcements. I mean, these guys aren't that high value anyway. The ladders have reached the walls. May our brave lions strike these curs who hide behind them. Also, their general is dead. That's got to count for something. A foe fights with horns made of clay. We are winning the battle. Get the guys up on the walls cause as much overwhelming force as possible the enemy are to break them. They have lost half their men. Seems to be working. Okay, these guys are undoubtedly better quality. My guys are winning. And not taking too many casualties either.
Now your orders have not completed, not until they're all fucking dead. Good. And I killed more of them than they did of mine. Perfect. Could probably merge some of those, um, light infantry, whatever the fuck they're called, Dailami. Yeah, sack it. Didn't destroy any of the buildings, which is good. Yep, merged that. How may I serve, Hmm. But we need to keep a keep the march going. So move over to this territory. Or oh, this is against Venice. Am I at war with Venice? Yes. Although I did say I want to take down the Byzantines. Might as well move on to this as well. Nothing will escape you here, Sultan. Bring this guy over here. This one over here. We'll switch them around next turn. Until they get the garrison back over here. So, Spy probably wouldn't... Uh, can't do anything about that yet. Have to reorganize this. And what's this? A pile of bullshit. Let's fucking kill them. Any mercs? Yeah, some more cav wouldn't hurt. He can afford it. It's an experienced army. Let's go destroy them and hopefully not take a single casualty. Because they've got no archers. I'll just send my missile cav to just slaughter them. I don't know what it is, but when it comes to Medieval 2, you kind of want to manually resolve everything. If this was Rome 2, this kind of battle would just auto-resolve, definitely. It's probably got something to do with the auto-replenishment. With Medieval 2, you don't get that. And with Rome 2, it's quite high. And also, the auto-resolve in this situation would yield very few casualties. Go, go have some fun. I'd like to do this without taking a single casualty. Let's see how that goes. What we really need to take down is those cavalry militia. Okay, I think they're taken down. Just one left. Our men have slain the infidel Good. general. Now the serpent's head has been cut off. The tail is sure to wither. These guys here aren't going to do anything. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. The only thing is, they have got a bit of experience, so they're not going to rout straight away. Experience makes a big deal, a uh, big difference in regard to morale. And also, the fact that it's raining, I think, is reducing the effectiveness of my missiles. They won't get close. See, they just get shot down. To Allah. You have left our enemy lost. They're dead. They run like children. Victory is ours. Yes. Oh. 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 We should the enemy no mercy, Our enemy 
Don't think we're going to make it to the city. To Sm oh, yes, we are. We're going to make it to Smyrna. Huh. Given what Venice usually has, I might try for a draw out. So what I'm going to do is build a fort here. You come over here. Let's see what else is inside. We've got a general. Okay, so they do have... Oh, those are peasant archers. Or, no, hang on. Those are Pizanti archers. Long-range missiles. So we're definitely going to need Armenian cavalry. And against the general and whatever other cavalry they've got, we're going to want these guys. Okay, so they've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so 13 units. I need to have less than that if you want them to come out and fight. So that's got 4. Let's bring just 3 of these. That should be enough for them to think that I'm attacking them with not much. And if they don't sell yet, I'll just... I don't really want to attack them though, it's kind of a big force. It's also possible that a lot of these units are already diminished. Anyway, we'll see. Certainly done more with less before. And over here. I've already moved you. Back to building stuff. Good, nice and quick. Can't do anything there. I'm still getting filthy rich. Now, Mongols over here, what are we doing about them? This is just perpetual stupidity over here. I wouldn't be surprised if we got surprised by the friggin' Mongols somewhere around here. Anyway, wait and see. It's not a big deal if they show up. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. Alright, Venice, come on, sally out. Into my fucking trap. Oh, yeah? I don't give a shit. I just sent one of the units at Kutaisi straight back to that fort and they're in limbo these guys the golden horde does nothing interesting Where's Venice? Don't tell me they've already had their turn. Oh no, they're last. And they do sally out. Very good. Let's see what they've got. I like risky moves. Okay. So we're up against Counselor, the faction heir, whatever. Feudal Knights, that's why I've brought these guys. They should be able to take them down, no problem. Archer wise, not much. This shouldn't be a problem. Just try not to fuck it up. We shall not leave any of the infidels alive. Yeah, so basically, how this goes, just like other battles where I've done this. Have the horse archers take out all the cavalry, then have the light, ca uh, the fast uh, Armenians take out all the missile units, and then the heavy cavalry, which is just the general, take out pretty much everything else. Uh, you guys, get moving out this way.
Got to watch out for their long range missiles and also it's raining. I don't like that. Let them come to us. Okay, let's get started. What's this? Feudal Knights? Shouldn't be too hard to take them down. They're not that fast. Yeah, so when you've got a horde of cavalry coming at you, it can be a little bit daunting. Especially if these guys fuck up. The general's bodyguard are p not particularly well armoured against missile units. I've found that they get shot to shit. So far, so good. Also, just wearing them out should allow these guys to take them out if need be. The biggest problem though is these guys not being responsive, like I give an order and they don't, they don't move straight away. So we need to give the order before they get to the get close. That's it, he just got torn to shreds and he was on the charge there. Come on, move it! Fuckheads, you're about to get horse sandwiched. You guys keep moving down that way. We're not done here yet. We need some space. Move it. Move like you've got a fucking purpose, you dumbasses. Oh, for fuck's sake. Problem is, one cavalry sometimes gets through and does like 10 kills. Luckily, they didn't happen that time. Oh, shit. Right near the red line. Come on, stop being so fucking unresponsive. Uh oh. So they're heading for my heavy cav. Which is okay. What's this? Those are the feudal knights. They're not going to do much and they'll be exhausted by the time they even get here. Shit. Right, you take them down, you take them down. We'll take the generals out here. Fuck, 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 move it. Hang on, the Armenian cavalry. Don't need to do that. Keep in mind the infantry are on their way. Don't want to dick around too much back this way, we want to go forward. doing? Get back. Good, they've won. Said shoot the shit out of them. Fuck, their archers are about here. So move forward. Don't worry about them too much right now. Do need to kill the enemy generals, but we'll get to that. See, he just got shot. Oh, they caught up to my bloody... Oh, that's my general. No wonder they caught up. Where'd you go? Oh, you're over here. Yep. Good. One general's down. to go. I think the Major General hasn't been killed yet. 
No. Because it was the counselor that was the best one. Taking out that cavalry. Oh shit, he's got me at the back of the red line. Not good. Yeah, it took some casualties there. But then again, so did he. Only four of them left. I fucking hate it when they do this. I like it when I get to do it though really happens. Yeah, they're all spread out. Hang on, there's only one left. One way or another, this motherfucker is dying today. Fair enough. Rejoice! The infidel general lies dead. Now his men fear us. Okay, get out of there. Now then, time to take out the archers. I'm going to try using just the heavy cav. See how we go with that. Careful, careful. Oh shit, what am I doing? Because these guys are bound to be tired now. Take out all the missile units. Where are the Pizzanti motherfuckers? Where are they? You guys, get out of there. What's this? Spearmen sergeants. And try to avoid them. Still got plenty of ammunition left on my arch, on my horse archers, so... Might be a good idea to do a bit more skirmishing after I've taken out their missile units. What's this? Oh, those are the Pizzanti archers. So they didn't even have much of them. Good, cut him down. You guys feel free to have a bit of a skirmish. And you, you want to charge into them? Be my guest. Too well. Where's the general? Get him out of there. He's bloodied up. Get him out of there. Fuck the rest of his bodyguard. Just get him out of there. I suppose he's done enough. What's this? Spearmen sergeants? Yeah. I know I shouldn't be risking this, but fuck it, I just can't resist a good charge. Plus, he's in the back there, so we should be okay. Oh, that was shit. Get out of there. Oh no, hang on, wasn't shit. Didn't take any casualties, and I broke them. Problem is though, they don't bloody chase them down. Or he doesn't. Oh, hang on, there he is. Uh, get the fuck away from them. Hey, what's this motherfucker doing here? 
Get away, get away. We got him. Yeah, I think we've got this. This guy's run out of ammunition. Oh, they've still got quite a few troops left. Alright, then you. I'm gonna give him a good old fucking charge. Go for it. Come on, break them. Yeah, let's get shot a bit more. Chase them down. How'd this go? Yeah. General, don't fucking ride into them. Get out of there. Good, they're wavering. Send these guys back over here to, to finish them off. Shit, they came at my back. Not cool. Good, broke them. Well within our grasp. In time, our foe will surely see this and lose heart. Okay, one more charge on them ought to do it. It's only light men at arms anyway. All praise to Allah. All praise to Allah. I think that went pretty well. Most of the casualties were done on the uh, the general, which means they'll recover. And now I get to keep the city. It also cancels the turn of um, a limited act. Oh, what's it called? Longer assimilation, whatever. Let's sack it. Don't think I've gotten this far into Anatolia before. It's the first time taking Smyrna. No. I destroyed the Fatimids ages ago. What the fuck are you talking about, bitch? You're gonna give me that notification every so often. Venetian fortress over there. Whatever, let's worry about Anatolia and taking uh, Constantinople, which is still... Well, it's not rebel controlled. Okay, and I think with that, I'll end the video there. It looks like there's some Mongols up here, but that's fine. I'm going up there to go fight them. Anyway, that's the end of this video, so like and subscribe. Part 52, I think, is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.